3,508 days ago, <laughs> my first two words to you were, shut up. And now we're standing here today about to say, I do, in front of our friends and family. Look how far we've come. Nine and a half years is a decent amount of time to get to know someone. It's how many days we've had to learn the best and worst things about each other. How many days we've grown together when there are so many opportunities to grow apart. Throughout the highs and lows, we've chosen to love each other despite our differences. Growing up with you the last nine years has brought me so much joy, and I wouldn't want to experience it with anyone else. Sean, we are 3,508 days in with a lifetime ahead of us, and I cannot wait. I love you. When we first met, I never would have imagined that in 10 years we'd be sharing this very special day together. All of the places that we've been, all of the faces that we've met, I'm a very lucky man to be sharing this day with you, the woman of my dreams. Aside from sharing just this day, I love the time that we share together, the laughs that we share together, our friendship, our bond, and most of all, our love. I love your charismatic personality and your comforting nature. You truly make me a better person each and every day that we are together. I promise to always protect you and keep you safe. I promise to comfort you and love you for the rest of my life, while one lifetime with you will never be enough. I love you. Marriage is not about finding someone you can live with, it's about finding someone you can't live without. And I see that in both of you. You're so happy together. And we're thankful for getting to know Sean. Um, we can tell that he loves her so much, he defends her, he stands up for her. And you know, Carolyn reminds him once in a while who's the boss. So I mean, it's perfect. Please raise your glasses in a toast to Sean and Carolyn. Just this morning, Carolyn went out to go grab me a plate of breakfast while I was getting my hair and makeup done on her own wedding day. She was thinking of me. Um, and Mrs. Kerr, of course, said, well, bless your cotton socks. And uh, yes, bless your cotton socks, Carolyn. <laughs> I just feel so lucky to be able to call these my best friends and my buddies. And uh, I want to toast not only to what a beautiful couple they are, but just what amazing people that they are, so raise your glass. I know Grandpa Kuvi is looking down on us and he was here with us this whole day. And he's proud of you. And nobody's ever called me their best friend. I've never felt you know, I have a small circle, so um, I'm happy that you've been able to call me yours. So. And I'm, I'm just so happy for you guys. I wish you the best. My best buddy got married today. And Sean, you will always be my best buddy. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness, good health, prosperity, and above all, love.